you're probably still using ChatGPT for everything, and you might even think Google's just playing catch-up in the AI race. Well, I spent weeks testing Google's latest releases, Gemini 3.0 and VO 3.1, and here's what surprised me. Google isn't just catching up. They've quietly built something that might actually change how you work with AI, especially if you're tired of tools that can't handle your actual workflow. Welcome back to bitbias.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts. Click the newsletter link in the description for weekly analysis delivered straight to your inbox. So in this video, I'm breaking down exactly what makes Gemini 3.0 and VO 3.1 different from ChatGPT and Grok, and more importantly, when you should actually use them. We'll look at real demos, coding, content creation, and AI video generation, so you can decide if these tools are worth adding to your arsenal. First up, let's talk about what Gemini 3.0 actually is and why developers are quietly switching over for certain tasks. Gemini 3.0, a powerful multimodal AI assistant. Let's start with Gemini 3.0, and I want to address something right away. You've probably heard the AI hype cycle. Every new model is supposedly revolutionary. But according to recent reports, Google has been quietly rolling out Gemini 3.0 Pro, and early testers are seeing something unusual, noticeable gains in performance, especially for coding, front-end generation, and multimodal reasoning. Here's a specific example that caught my attention. Gemini 3.0 Pro can now generate SVG code that's scalable vector graphics, far more accurately than previous versions. Now, I know SVG might sound like a niche technical thing, but here's why it matters. SVG is fundamental for creating icons, diagrams, and graphics on the web. It's a task that used to trip up even ChatGPT and Anthropics models. The fact that Gemini nailed this shows something deeper about its strength and code writing abilities, the multimodal superpower. So what makes Gemini 3.0 actually different? It's multimodal in a way that goes beyond just, I can look at pictures. Gemini can read code, write code, analyze images, parse complex diagrams, and maintain context through long conversations. This unlocks some genuinely powerful workflows, especially for tasks like UI design and code review. Picture this scenario. You paste your HTML and CSS code into Gemini. Then you drop in a screenshot from Figma. Gemini can spot inconsistencies between your code and your design, then suggest specific fixes. Most chatbots can't do that, but wait until you see this. It even explains problems like a human code reviewer would. Want to know why your area label is wrong or why your Tailwind config is fighting your theme? Gemini narrates it like your favorite senior developer doing a code review. Advanced reasoning. This next part might sound like marketing hype, but the data backs it up. Google's DeepMind team experimented with an advanced deep think mode in Gemini, and here's what happened. An advanced Gemini model solved five out of six problems at the International Math Olympiad. That's gold medal territory by human standards. And this wasn't some cherry-picked demo. It was done entirely in natural language, end-to-end, -end, within the actual contest time limit. I'm not saying you need AI to solve Olympic-level math problems. But here's what this tells us about the model's capabilities. Gemini 3.0 has made genuine leaps in reasoning and problem-solving. The model can explore multiple solution paths, what the researchers call parallel thinking, before arriving at an answer. In practical terms, this means Gemini is dramatically better at complex, multi-step logic than earlier versions. So if you've ever needed help with intricate math, logic puzzles, or multi-part coding tasks where things need to happen in a specific sequence, Gemini's upgrades are a genuine game changer. The context length advantage. Here's something that might not sound exciting at first, but trust me, it changes everything once you experience it. Gemini 3.0 Pro reportedly supports a 1 million token context window. That's vastly more than typical models. In practical terms, it can handle long conversations or documents with more continuity than most competitors. Let me give you a concrete example. Gemini can analyze an entire thesis-length document or a lengthy email thread without losing track of what was discussed 10 pages ago. And because Gemini ties directly into your Google account, it can pull context from your Google Drive files, Gmail history, 
and workspace apps. Imagine you're drafting a project plan. Gemini can scour your existing documents, emails, and notes to tailor its suggestions based on your actual work history. That's something ChatGPT and Grok simply can't do without extra plugins or memory workarounds. Code assistance that understands design. On coding tasks, Gemini 3.0 is reportedly more accurate than ever, especially for front-end development, UI scaffolding, and debugging. A recent front-end developer guide notes that Gemini 3.0 Pro is surprisingly good at turning fuzzy design intent into decent starter code. It can generate responsive components, add accessibility features, and even write unit tests. Here's a real example from a recent walkthrough. A developer asked Gemini to produce a React product card with keyboard accessibility, alt text, and a complete test suite. Basically, scaffolding a full production-ready component from a single prompt. And Gemini delivered code that was close to production-ready with minimal follow-up questions. Now, if you're coming from ChatGPT, which also handles code well, here's the key benefit. The multimodal feedback and refinement. You can show Gemini screenshots of your design, color tokens, or style guides, and have it adjust the code accordingly. That visual feedback loop is something most AI coding assistants are still struggling with. Live demo. Gemini in action. All right, let's see this in action. I'm going to ask Gemini to create something moderately complex and see how it handles it. Watch this. I'll type. Create a React component for a responsive product card. It should have a grid layout on desktop and a single column on mobile. Include an image with aspect ratio preserved, alt text, a hover effect on the add to cart button, and keyboard focus management. Use plain CSS and include a basic test suite. And Gemini responds with a complete code example. We've got a React product card component an accompanying CSS module, and even jest tests with React testing library. The code looks clean and actually meets every criterion in the prompt. This kind of scaffolding would normally take hours, but Gemini delivered it in seconds. This demonstrates exactly what the developer guides have been saying. Gemini understands UI patterns and handles component logic in a way that feels genuinely thoughtful. VO 3.1 Google's next-gen AI video generator. All right, now we get to the really exciting part. VO 3.1 is Google's new AI model for creating short videos from text or images, and I need to be honest, I was skeptical at first. We've seen so many AI video tools that promise the moon and deliver janky, inconsistent clips. But VO 3.1 is different. The official Gemini product page describes it simply, Create high-quality 8-second videos with VAO 3.1, our latest AI video generation model. You describe your idea in natural language, and VO brings it to life, complete with native audio. Video quality that actually matters. Here's the first thing that impressed me. VO 3.1 delivers genuinely cinematic quality video, unlike many earlier AI video tools that give you tiny, blurry outputs. It generates content in full 1080p HD by default. The videos are also longer, up to 8 seconds per clip, with stable frame-to-frame -frame consistency. Let me give you a concrete example. If you prompt it with a cartoon cat skateboarding in Times Square, the output will be a smooth, clear video at 1080p, not some pixelated mess you'd be embarrassed to share. Those extra pixels matter when you want content for YouTube or even TV broadcast. Audio that actually fits. But here's where VO 3.1 really stands out. A huge improvement is integrated audio generation. The videos come with background sound and even dialogue when appropriate. According to recent reports, Gemini's video engine went further by improving both video and audio quality, including richer background audio that's more contextually accurate. In practice, this means your video won't be awkwardly silent. If there should be street noise, wind rustling, or characters speaking, VO 3.1 can add it convincingly. This is a massive leap forward from earlier tools where you'd have to layer audio manually. Creative controls that professionals need. Now this next feature is what separates hobbyist tools from professional grade systems. 
VO 3.1 gives creators genuine hands-on control over the video generation. You can specify the first frame and last frame of your clip, essentially telling the model exactly how your scene should start and end. You can also upload reference images to lock in a consistent style or subject. This is called reference to video mode. For example, if you upload a picture of a specific dog, VO 3.1 will generate a video where that same dog appears consistently in each frame. This solves one of the most frustrating problems with AI video, characters randomly changing appearance halfway through the clip. Additionally, VO 3.1 supports multi-shot mode. Give it one prompt, and it generates up to four interconnected scenes with smooth transitions between them. And it has a fast variant for quick iterations when you need speed over ultra detail. VO 3.1 genuinely balances quality with flexibility in a way that most AI video tools are still struggling to achieve. Editing after the fact. On top of generation, VO 3.1 lets you edit videos after they're created. Want to insert or remove an object? Veo can handle that. According to recent reports, with Veo 3.1, you can insert or remove objects from any scene, extend a video before its original ending, generate transitions between two still frames, and guide the look and feel using reference images, objects, and moods. So if you generate a video and realize you want, say, a tree to disappear at the six second mark, you can rerun VO with an instruction like, remove that tree from the background after five seconds, and it will output a seamlessly edited clip. These advanced editing features mark a genuine step forward in AI video technology. Hands-on walkthrough using Gemini 3.0 and VO 3.1. Now that we've covered what these tools can do, let's get practical. I'm going to walk you through three real demos so you can see exactly how to use these tools for common tasks. Demo 1. Content Creation with Gemini 3.0 Let's start with content creation. Suppose you need to write a blog post. I'm switching to the Gemini chat interface now. I'll type, write a 500-word blog post on the benefits of AI-powered video for small businesses. Use an engaging tone and include an introductory hook, three main points, and a conclusion. Watch what happens. Gemini quickly outlines a complete blog post. It starts with a catchy hook about capturing attention in seconds, then covers three detailed points, cost-effectiveness of AI video, enhanced customer engagement, and ease of content creation. It wraps up with a strong call to action. The result is well-structured and flows naturally. Gemini even suggests possible images to include, which is a nice touch. But here's where it gets better. I can refine this on the fly. If I want the tone to be more informal, I could say make it sound more conversational, use emojis where appropriate. Or if I already have a draft, I can paste it in and ask Gemini to improve specific sections. Gemini 3.0's longer memory means it remembers the full context across multiple rounds of edits which is genuinely useful for iterative work. Video generation with VO 3.1. A cute red panda wearing goggles riding a skateboard in a neon lit arcade, vibrant colors, dynamic camera angle. I enter that and click create. After a few seconds, the preview appears. It's an eight second video showing exactly what I described. A skateboarding red panda in an arcade environment. The animation is smooth, there's appropriate background music fitting the arcade vibe, and most importantly, the panda stays consistently styled throughout the entire clip. If I wanted even more detail or better quality, I could choose VO3 from the model dropdown. The default is 720p, but VO3.1 technology can deliver 1080p if you unlock the full quality settings. The support documentation confirms that videos are 720p by default, but can be rendered at higher resolutions. So in a nutshell, to make a video with VO 3.1, you use Google Vids, describe your scene with as much detail as possible, and let it generate an 8-second clip with synchronized audio. The technology handles both the visuals and the sound, which makes the entire process remarkably streamlined. Conclusion and next steps. Let me wrap this up with the big picture. Gemini 3.0 brings Google-level reasoning 
and genuine multimodal intelligence to your workflow. It excels at tasks involving Google Docs, complex code generation, image analysis, and handling extremely long contexts. If you live in Google's ecosystem, Gemini can fundamentally change how you work. VO 3.1, on the other hand, represents a genuine leap forward in AI video generation. We're talking 8-second clips in 1080p with native audio, real editing capabilities, and fine-grained creative control. These aren't just incremental improvements. They're the features that professionals actually need. For those of you using ChatGPT or Grok, these tools offer new possibilities that complement what you're already doing. You can integrate Gemini into your coding and content workflow for tasks that require deep context or visual understanding. And you can use VO 3.1 to prototype video content, boost your social media presence, or create marketing materials that would normally require expensive production teams. If you found this deep dive helpful and want more content like this, hit that like button and subscribe. We're constantly testing new AI tools and sharing what actually works. Drop a comment below and tell me, how do you plan to use Gemini 3.0 or VO 3.1? Are you thinking about switching from your current tools? I genuinely want to hear your thoughts and answer any questions you might have. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.